Hey guys, this is Nikhil from Papercut support team. Here I want to give a quick demo on setting up Microsoft SQL Express with Papercut. By default, Papercut NG and MF use an internal database known as Apache Derby. In case you want to upsize to an external relational database management system, Microsoft SQL Express is one of the available supported option. To access more information on this topic, please visit our website papercut.com and search for SQL Server Express. Let's start. First, download the latest available SQL Server Express edition from Microsoft site. Install the setup file. Select the basic mode of installation type. Accept the license terms. Select the installation directory. It will take several minutes to download and complete the installation. Once you get confirmation message that SQL Express is installed, click on install SSMS. A new window will open. Click on Download SQL Server Management Studio. Close the SQL Express installation wizard. Once SSM setup emu.exe download would finish, please run this setup file. This is simple and quick and it's done. Now our SQL Express and SSMS installation are completed successfully. Let's start configuring the SSMS. Click on the drop down of server, expand the database engine, select your database, choose your preferred authentication method and click on connect. Next, let's create a new database. Specify paper cut database name as per your choice. Next, we have to enable TCP IP connections because by default TCP IP is not enabled in SQL Express. To enable TCP IP, uh, let's start SQL Server Configuration Manager. Click on SQL Server Network Configuration. Go to Protocol for SQL Express node. Right click TCP IP item on the right, then select Properties. On the general tab, enable to yes. On the IP addresses tab, under the IPAII node, clear TCP dynamic ports. In the TCP port, enter the port to listen on, for example, 1450. Remember this port because it needs to be used in paper cut connection string. Click on the apply. An informational pop-up window will open. Click OK. Restart Microsoft SQL Server Express service. Next, we have to enable SQL Server authentication. Papercut NG requires SQL Server authentication to enable on the instance of SQL Express. To do this, uh, go to SQL Server Management Studio Express tool. Right click on the instance of SQL Express to configure and then select the properties. Select the security section on the left. Change the server authentication to SQL Server and Windows authentication mode. Restart the Microsoft SQL Server Express service. Next, we have to create a new database user. Papercut requires a user to connect to the database. In the SQL Server Management Studio Express tool, right click the security, go to login node, then select new login, enter the username, change the server authentication to SQL Server authentication mode, enter the user's password, disable password expiration, click OK, assign this user DB owner permission to the Papercut database so that it can create the required database tables. 
Now the database configuration is completed. Next, we will configure PaperCut application server to use MS SQL Express server. Stop the PaperCut application server. Once application server is stopped, let's take the database backup. Uh, here I am using DB tools. To use the DB tools, open command prompt. Go to uh, C program files, paper cut ng or mf based on your installation type. Go to server bin win, then run the command db tools space export db. Capture and save the name and location of the backup file as we will require it later on. On the application server, go to the install directory, go to server, open server.properties file using text editor like notepad, comment out the line starting with database.type equals internal. Do this by adding hash characters at the beginning of the line. Next, find the database connection details for the database type SQL Server, uncomment the line by removing the hash characters, set the username and password to connect to the database, configure the database connection string for the SQL Server, it has to be in a specific format shown here, replace the local host with your host name of server on which MS SQL Express Server is installed. I am leaving hostname as localhost because I have installed MS SQL Express on same machine. Enter the database port and the database name same as we had defined while setting the SQL server. Make sure you are able to reach the server with hostname and a specified port number. Now our new database connection is ready to establish connection with SQL Server Express. Save the file. Let's initialize the new database. On the server, go to command prompt. Go to paper cut install directory, server, bin, win. Run the command db tools space init db. A message is displayed to indicate that connection details are correct and the database was initialized correctly. Now to load the data into new database, run the command db tools space import db space file name with exact location. This is the same db backup file which we had saved after db export step earlier. Well, it failed. Let's use minus force option by inserting minus F after import db. If no error occur, our application is ready to start. Start application server service. Check if we can access application web admin page. Let's go and check the db if we can see new tables. Here we go. This concludes integration of Microsoft SQL Express with PaperCut. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.